I see a beat up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's real beat up. He m he's close to death. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We got you inside the bayou. Eli's filming. Look out. Hey, where are you find that thing? I can't see you going. Okay, there. Now I can't see. I can't see where are you going. Now we can let chickens out. Alright, you want to let them out today? Yeah. Hey. Go for it. Got a lot of rain last night. So I think it just got kind of dirty from the rain last night, but I think it's clean water. It's very muddy. It's gonna make the ducks really happy. They love muddy water. Hey. What are you doing? You can trick them. Hey. 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 What's she doing? Is she not liking you? No. Let's get out and she'll come out. Look. It's a looser. Oh, summer? Yeah, summer. summer. No, it's not summer. We need to name him. Yeah, We're on. Doing chores. Hey guys, here with the turkeys. Uh oh, I see a beat up. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He's real beat up. He m he's close to death. Uh oh, get off of him. Oh no. Oh no. What'd you do? Get off. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on out. Oh man. Oh no. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, he is so bloody. These guys are so mean. Oh, he's lost a lot of blood. He doesn't look good. They have just been hammering him. His whole neck, back of his head is bloody. Oh, I hate to see this. I, I knew it yesterday, it was going to get bad. He wasn't bloody at all, but you could tell he was getting picked on. Afternoon, fun morning at the parade. Here to take care of these turkeys. Gosh, this guy is just smashed against his door. That's wild. Come on out, come on out. No, you stand there. I've got a question for you guys. If you have ever let turkeys free range, I want to hear about it. I'm tempted to let this guy free range separate of his crowd, because when I came in this morning, he was sitting right here at the front getting picked on. So he was just trying to hide in a corner, not able to escape from them. So my, I'm, and he can't go in with the other guy because he's fighting with our uh, other white turkey. And he sat really nicely over in the corner. Makes me think if I put some food and water out that he might hang. I'm a real afraid of, one, him hopping over this fence, but he may be too big to do so at this point. Or a predator getting in, because I don't know how hot this fence is getting. A predator getting in and getting him. I just don't have another option for him. So if you 
have any suggestions, let me know. But for now, he's going back in. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Poor guy. Oh, this poor guy. So sorry, that sucks. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with him tonight for shelter or if it rains. Go ahead, get some drink. Okay, so I've got an idea. They may beat up on the turkey that was we had separated out because he was fighting. This bloody one, I gotta put him in the other tractor. I just need him have his own place to be able to heal because he is just way too beat up. Got plenty of food and water. He'll have peace from everybody else. Guys, I, I know this will be the main story today and I hope you don't hate me for, you know, I hope you don't think it's celebrating violence or bloodiness or bringing focus to it. I just, I gotta show you what these turkeys are doing. And it's almost butcher time. We're gonna take care of some this week but we're starting to see the facts of male turkeys growing up together, that they just can't live together. So they can make it right about to butcher age, which is close it in on five months. And then they've just, they've gotta be taken care of because they can just not live together or they can't live with females, only males. My goal yesterday was to separate this guy or figure out a solution. So I feel bad when I had the information I needed and I had a hunch and I knew I needed to figure out a solution. I put it off for a day and then this is what it, it cost me. It cost me a nearly dead turkey that just looks really weak and I'm sure he's just been beat up for the last 24 hours. I'm sorry buddy. I don't know how I would do it different in the future other than just have separate areas for either the male and females or have less male to female ratio. And it's kind of a moot point because we're gonna butcher in a couple days anyways, but I need him to stay alive till that point. I want him to have a peaceful rest of his life, have a happy life, and this is not a happy life. I'm probably gonna come back and check on him later tonight just to make sure he hasn't died because he looks really weak. He just wants to sit down, have a peaceful, have a peaceful few minutes. We think we figured out a solution to our turkey problem. We need to free up one of these tractors. We've got one here at home, but right now we've got chickens in here. These guys are big enough now. We've tried to put them in with the flock. It is time. We need to merge them in, but we're gonna put them in the old chicken run, which is now the cat area. And then tonight we'll put them into the coop so they'll be in there merged at night when the chickens are sleeping. So we need to free this up. We can put the turkey in there, the injured one, so we can keep an eye on it here and help nurse it back to health. Move the other problem turkey, and go back there and see how that's doing, move it over into its separate one again. And then I think we should be back at a status quo with everybody. Let's go. Here's that big one, the tiny one. Pick up whoever you want. take him home. We still got all seven bronze turkeys in there. And they've yet to fight with each other, so I'm cool with that. 
What I would like to do is get the one that was in here, newly in here today, get him back over, and I think it is that one right there. So I need to get him out of here. Okay, got him out. And now we just have two male, two female in there. Hopefully that alleviates some issue. This ought to be entertaining. Three is done. We got the turkey that was in here. Got him back in. Good job, buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Put water in there for you. This turkey seems to be doing much better, although still bloody and still very weak. And it's probably going to need a couple days to regain its strength get healed up from the blood it may take a week for that but we may we may butcher in the next few days but we just needed to survive a few days we wanted to live it out its last few days in peace certainly appreciate it for what it's done for us and we hate to see any of our animals get this injured definitely a lesson learned we're gonna have to rethink turkeys in the future how we separate them males females we're just glad he's alive have a good day guys